Now let us convert the following epsilon NFAs to NFA and I think after this example uh, I, this topic will be clear. Okay, so the first is we have this epsilon NFA and we want to convert this epsilon NFA to NFA. And for both these NFAs there are only two symbols in the language which are A and B. So the, for the first NFA, so let us take the epsilon closure. For this one, we are solving this one. We will take epsilon closure for symbol A. Then we will take epsilon closure. Again, we will take epsilon closure for symbol B. Then we will take epsilon closure. If you are at straight Q0, then epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0 only. Now, if you are seeing a symbol A on Q0, then you will go to the state which is Q1. Now, if you are at Q1, then absolute closure of Q1 is Q1 as well as Q2. Okay. Now, uh, for the symbol which is B, if you are at Q0, then absolute closure of Q0 is Q0 itself. If you are at Q0 and you are seeing a symbol B, then there is no transition is defined, therefore we will go to phi. Okay. Now, look at for the state which is Q1. Uh, this is epsilon closure. This is symbol B. Sorry, uh, for right for straight Q1. So this is symbol A. This is epsilon closure, and this is straight Q1. So if you're at Q1, the epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 as well as Q2. Now, if you are seeing a symbol A on Q1, then you are not going anywhere. If you are seeing a symbol A on Q2, then you are not going anywhere. Therefore, in last we get phi. If you are at state Q1 and you are seeing a symbol which is B, then epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 as well as Q2. Then uh, if you are seeing a symbol B on Q1, then we will go to phi. Then if you are seeing a uh, symbol B on Q2, then we will go to Q2 itself. And then epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 and then for the third state which is Q3 or sorry Q2 so this is symbol A this is epsilon closure this is epsilon closure this is Q2 again symbol A epsilon closure symbol B epsilon closure epsilon closure and this is Q2 the epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself then if you are seeing a symbol A on Q2 then you are not going anywhere so we get phi. If you are seeing a epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2. If you are going seeing a symbol B, then you are again going to Q2, and then epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. Is Q2 itself. Okay. Therefore, for this particular, what is the transition table we can get? So uh, let me make it for this one. This is a transition table for NFA. For NFA. The states, the inputs are A and B, and the states are Q0, Q1, and Q2. Q2 is final state, and Q1 is initial state. On Q1, Q0, if on symbol A we are going to Q1 as well as Q2, we are going to Q1 as well as Q2. On symbol B, we are going to phi. We are going to phi. On Q0 okay uh, right epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0 itself right so uh, on Q1 on Q1 if we are seeing a symbol A then we are going to phi if we are seeing a symbol B then we are going to Q2 on Q2 if we are seeing a symbol A then we are going to phi if we are seeing a symbol B then we are going to Q2 so therefore we can make an NFA for this. That NFA will be containing three states Q0, Q1 and Q2. This is the initial state. On Q0 by seeing a symbol A, we are going to Q1 as well as we are going to Q2. On seeing a symbol B, we are not going anywhere. On Q1 by seeing a symbol B, we are going to Q2. And Q2 on seeing a symbol B, we are going to Q2. So this is the NFA, equivalent NFA, and then you can convert this equivalent NFA to a DFA. 
Now for the second case, in the second case we have three states Q0, Q1 and Q2. So this is for the first case. Now let us make for the second case, the B part. In the case of, in, in second case, uh, this is Q0. First of all, we'll find epsilon closure. Then we'll make a transient for symbol A. Then we'll find epsilon closure. Then for Q0, first epsilon closure. Then make a transition for B. Then epsilon closure. Or Q0, by seeing epsilon, we can go to Q0 as well as Q1 as well as Q2. So on Q0, by seeing a symbol A, we are not making any transition. On Q1, by seeing a symbol A, we are going to Q1. On Q2, by seeing a symbol A, we are going to Q1. So epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1, comma Q2, that is Q1 and Q2. Now again, for Q0, epsilon closure is Q0, Q1 and Q2. On seeing the symbol B, uh, on Q0, we are going to Q0. On seeing a symbol B, on Q1, we are not going anywhere. On seeing a symbol B, on Q2, we are again going to Q0. So epsilon closure of Q0, because we are getting Q0 in both the cases. So epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. Okay. Again, let us do for the state which is Q, Q1. This is epsilon closure. This is A. This is epsilon closure. This is the state which is Q1. Now epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 as well as Q2. If you are seeing a symbol A on Q1, then you are going to Q1. If you are seeing a symbol A on Q2, then you are going to Q1. And then again, epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 and Q2. Okay, now for the symbol B. This is Q2. Again Q1, sorry. This is Q1. So epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 and Q2. If you are seeing a symbol B on Q1, then you are not going anywhere. If you are seeing a symbol B on Q2, then you are going to Q0. Right, again, the epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0, Q1, Q2. So these are three states. Now let us make for the state Q2. This is epsilon closure. This is A. This is epsilon closure. And this is the state which is Q2. On Q2, the epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. On seeing a symbol A, we are going to Q1. So, uh, epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 and Q2. Q1 and Q2. Again, for symbol B, this is Q2. Epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2. On seeing a symbol B on Q2, we are going to Q0. And epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. So you got the final uh, for all these th all these symbols. Now by using these, you can make the straight transition table just like this, and you can uh, you know uh, make the NFA. So this is a very simple method uh, how to convert epsilon NFA to NFA, and uh, then you can easily convert that NFA to a DFA. Okay, I think this is this much is fine.